Welcome guys, have you ever been in a situation where you have to choose between Groza or M249? I mean you could actually use both of them, but you will run into some problems, especially when spraying at a certain distance, that is why you need to have a secondary weapon that is capable of handling mid to long range targets, so you wouldn't have to face any disadvantages while fighting in those situations. So let's start the comparison between Groza and M249 to figure out which one will be better for you. So the damage of these two weapons are completely different since they use different ammunition. Where the M249 uses 5.56 ammo and does 44 damage that's slightly higher than M4 and Scar L, and the Groza uses 7.62 ammo and does 48 damage, it's the same damage as an AKM. Before you comment that Groza does 45 damage, by looking at this weapon stats, it's not valid for classic matches. Yes the Groza has 45 damage, but only for team death matches, PUBG nerfed, and reduced the performance of Groza in TDM, because it's too powerful, even after the nerf reduced damage, yet the people still use Groza, because it's too damn powerful. Just imagine what the original Groza would do in TDMs. But M249 isn't that bad either despite it uses 5.56 ammunition since it's a 40% smaller in size, when we compare it to 7.62 ammo, you can save some space in your bag for some other utilities, or you could carry 40% extra ammo for M249. Now moving on to the rate of fire, this is where most of you got confused, I posted a poll in the community, which weapon would you choose, Groza or M249? 75% of you voted for Groza, and also most of the comment says Groza has a faster firing rate. That isn't actually true. The M249 has a faster firing rate, the original rate of fire of Groza is 0.08, where the M249 has 0.75. That's a 7% difference in terms of rate of fire. Since M249 has a faster firing rate is it better than Groza? Not really. If we take a look at DPS which stands for damage per second, if you don't know what is DPS it basically shows exactly how much damage you do in one second. So the Groza has 600 DPS, while the M249 has 586 DPS, that is really close I think. So the Groza wins in terms of damage output, and also it has high headshot damage just like AKM. But there is a big issue with this game. The rate of fire changes depending on what FPS you're playing on, and in case of Groza, it shoots faster at medium frame rates, but these results are only for my device. So I calculated the rate of fire for all the available FPS options. So this is the original rate of fire for Groza and M249, this is what every player should have, but it changes for every device depending on what FPS you're getting. If you're playing in the low frame rate option then the Groza's firing rate will be slowed by about 20%, and for every single frame drop you get, the firing rate will be reduced by another 4%. And for the M249, your firing rate will be slowed by 25%, and for every single frame drop you get it will be reduced by another 4.7%. This is really bad for both of the weapons, but if you play in low FPS then using Groza will give you better performance. So in the medium frame rates, the Groza achieves the fastest rate of fire, but for every single frame drop, its firing rate will be reduced by 4%. And the M249's rate of fire will be slowed by about 6.25%, and for every single frame drop it slows even further by 3.7%. So there is absolutely no doubt that the Groza is the go-to choice if you play in medium frame rates. And here is the rest of the results. So here are the highlights for it. The Groza performs better at these frame rates, low, medium, high, and extreme meanwhile the M249 performs better at ultra and 90 FPS. Anyway moving on to the recoil comparison between Groza and M249. By looking at this recoil pattern you'd be thinking M249 has low recoil, I would say no, because the horizontal recoil of M249 is really bad. It would be really challenging to control the recoil, especially when it starts moving in horizontal. The first 10 bullets of M249 are easy to control, but after 10 bullets the horizontal recoil starts to kick in and it could go either left or right totally random. This is why M249's range is limited to 50 to 60 meters, and most people prefer to use it with red dot, I mean you could put a 3x and spray at 100 meters targets. But you need to take down your target in first 10 bullets, or just stop firing after 10 bullets otherwise the horizontal recoil start to increase. So always give a small gap between every 10 bullets sprays to avoid getting that crazy amount of horizontal recoil. 
Here is a small advantage you get with M249 is that you don't need any attachments other than a scope, whereas Groza requires two attachments, an extended mag and a suppressor, but the suppressor isn't that necessary since it doesn't affect anything with recoil controlling. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between with and without the suppressor, and there is no such difference in recoil, so the suppressor is just to eliminate the weapon sound and muzzle flash. So the Groza wins in terms of recoil controlling and stability of the weapon, because you can put a 3x on Groza and spray at mid-range targets without worrying about the recoil, whereas with M249 you need to be careful about recoil. Since the weapon firing rate can be affected by FPS, will it change the recoil depending on my FPS? Yes the recoil will also change according to your FPS. This is the Groza's recoil patterns from low FPS to extreme FPS, this test is done in iPhone 11, it may be different in your device, but this is just to show an example. And now this is M249's recoil pattern from low FPS to extreme FPS, I noticed this thing while doing this test, and that is when the rate of fire is slow then the horizontal recoil will be lesser, but the vertical recoil will increase slightly which doesn't make any sense. Anyway here is my final answer and opinion about which weapon should you use. So theoretically the Groza is slightly stronger than M249, by having higher damage, and better recoil controlling, and also better stability of the weapon, these small things make the Groza a better weapon than M249. But M249 isn't that a bad weapon either, it's just 5% less powerful, most people who use M249 uses it, because of its bigger magazine size which is 100 rounds, and sometimes it scares your opponents with its sound, everyone will able to recognize M249 by its loud sound, and they will be afraid to take a fight against you. So there you have it, if you prefer to have a bigger magazine and loud sound, then M249 is your go-to choice, but if not then the Groza is the best choice for you. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next video, enjoy my bot gameplay. I can show you what love's supposed to feel like. I can show you what love's supposed to be.